The Beasting and Feasting t-shirt is now available. Anyone that buys the t-shirt or the long sleeve will be automatically entered into my NBA 2K17 Legend Edition Gold giveaway. I'm giving away three copies. Full details for the giveaway are in the description. So this is the new My Court that you get. And this place is huge. This is like a hangar for planes. Crazy, the space is ridiculous. I gotta get rid of this brown shirt and these pants. We're getting some messages though, so I'm gonna let you read these messages. You can actually interact and they give you different choices, but just for this video, we're gonna skim through it. You can pause if you wanna read everything that's being said here. And Denver, he wanted to come over to my court. Hey, yo! The nerve of this guy, he comes over and then he challenges me to a 1v1. And I got trash moves, I'm still a 59 overall. Look, he's trying to go for the slam. Come on, cuh. This is my court. <laughs> I'm just practicing here, getting used to my moves, even though they're trash, I got them leaning. Slam it down a gold result. Now look at the doing work meter. That went up to about maybe 70%. So I wanted to max out this meter. I was doing work. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes shooting around to max out the meter. Somebody left the security detail at home. Told them to take the morning off while I get in early, get some shots up. Mm. What you working on? Working on my jump shot. Nah, but you're not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Getting a nice little sweat in. Got up nice and early. Look, I live in the gym. Nah, 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 that's not what I mean. When you come in the gym, you gotta be focused. You gotta have a focus when you get in the gym. Yeah, I'm focused on my shot. Nah, but what kind of shot? Are we talking about our mid-range? Are we talking about our three-point? Are we talking about our corner three? Are we talking about the post that you love so much? Oh, uh, okay, You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. All of it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna put you through a real workout. All right. We'll lace him up, Justice. <laughs> he suffered the same fate as Denver. Oh, you ain't the GOAT, baby. You ain't your dad, baby. You ain't Michael Jordan, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. I get the rebound. I turn on the Jets with the speed. The spin move with the slam. I'm loving these practices so far. I win this one, and now my doing work meter here in practice is going to balloon up as well. And it seems like once you max out that doing work meter, you might as well leave because I don't think you're gonna get any more experience if you keep going. So here I'm trying out the squats because I said, hey, we can actually squat in this game. And look, look at these squats. Like you can really push through, you can go faster. Like right there, I went faster. Look, that's bad. Oh man, I almost broke, I almost snapped something in my back right there. I'm pushing this up slow. This is hilarious. And I'm not really getting to that 90 degree angle. I'm not going low enough. I'm trying to go low, but if you go too low, you're gonna mess it up. So right there, I did okay. That was almost 90. That, that actually might have been 90. Just before 90. Watching the form of your character change based on what you're doing with the right stick is hilarious. Like right there, I almost snapped something again. Went a little bit too fast. I'm trying to go low, low. Oh! See, that's what happens when you try to go too low. Now here's the interesting thing about practice. You can go to practice multiple times throughout the day. Here I am, I'm back in my my court. And look at this, I have an endorsement. I can go to this event. And then later on in the day, I can go to practice again. This is unbelievable. Before you could only do one thing a day. Now you can manage multiple things a day. So I, I came back, I came back in the evening. There were more teammates here. I said, let me hit the bench press. So I'm doing legs and chest in the same day. I'm putting in work. And then you can also go to practice the day of a game. My first game is coming up next. And before that game, they give you an option to go to practice in the morning, put up some shots, you can hit the weights. And this is a tip for all of these drills. Don't worry about your form trying to go down all the way because you might mess up. Just do it and get the reps in because certain drills, when you complete them to the max, you actually get an increase in your attributes. I don't know if it's permanent or temporary, but after I do one of the drills here in the second practice, I get a plus one 
to one of my attributes. Since it's a plus one, I'm thinking it's permanent. Because if it were temporary, wouldn't they tell you it was temporary? Wouldn't it be more than plus one if it's a temporary boost? I don't know. This is very interesting. But you see, I did 12 reps. It looked like I could go forever, but then on the 12th one, he was weak. He was feeling strong on 11, but not on 12, which is pretty funny. The doing work meter is almost full, so I'm going to do something else. This time, the agility ladder. And this is where I get the attribute boost. So we'll see. You let me know what you think in the comment section if you think this is permanent or if this is temporary. Because if this is permanent, this is a nice way to increase your attributes. So I complete this drill and I get a plus one hustle. See that? Only plus one. If it were temporary, wouldn't you get more than plus one? My first game as a pro is up next. Denver from, yes, from Seattle. Seattle. Good one. <laughs> like everyone has said that one already. Okay, so I just, I, first time nah, I met nah, you. That's so. what you, what system you play on? What, what system? Mm -hmm. Any system you want to get beat on. That's the system I play <laughs> okay, on. Okay, Fred. Listen, bro. This right here, this is you right now. I can see it. This uh -huh. is all you. But 2K, 